You can use gradients in Photoshop to create some very interesting pattern designs. Now, the way to do it, or well, one way of doing it, and I'm just going to use the reflected option, is via Layer, New Fill Layer, Gradient. And I'm just going to go there, get the new layer pop up. And you see the various options there, so you get the standard. So, so it's blue, orange. So you don't want to use that one. I'm just going to go to Linear. Now I want to use reflected. That's the one you want to use. Reflected. So now you will see the blue, the blue there. Of course, it's continuous anyway, so they, so you can just see it's, it's reflected. Don't touch any of the uh, the scale or anything else at this point. Now I'm actually going to go and select another set of uh, gradients. I mean, you can find many gradients on the web, GRD files. Also, you can find thousands and thousands. It's 32,000 on graphicextras.com. I'm just going to select one of the files, just click that one, and so you just see different designs. Place gradients. Just going to select, select that one. Right, got a gradient now. I'm happy with that design, so I'm just going to click OK at that point. Now I could stop here, and I'm just could define that as a pattern. I just go to the Edit and Define Pattern. I'm just going to do that now. But you can also, if you wish, then go and create another layer. So you can create more complicated ones. So new fill gradient. And I'm going to set to difference. Click OK. And again, you've got the so linear one. So I'm just going to select one there. And reflect it again. So again, now I could stick with that. It's basically, again, you can see the white there, white there. So it's so on and so on, it's all reflected. But you can also, of course, just go set that to zero. So you can change it, obviously zero or 90. So you get both ways. Click OK. Now I can go layer, flatten image, define pre pattern, click OK. Now I'm just gonna clear that. And I'm going to go to New Fill Layer, Pattern, click OK, and that pattern is there. And I can just set it to 50 or 25. So you can just see the basic pattern there. So you can see the repeat. It's actually a seamless design, very quick, easy way of creating pattern from a gradient. Obviously, there's thousands of other ways to create patterns using gradients, but that is uh, one way of doing it.